Hey everybody, Coach Dan here from The Run Experience. Have I got a story for you, friends. Last weekend I raced. It was a 66 kilometer ultra marathon on the trail. I was pretty excited. I was leading for a while, about the first 20K or so, and that's when I had world ending muscle cramps in my legs. Just crushed me, man, and totally, totally ruined what I thought was gonna be an easier day out on the trail. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. I'm gonna tell you what didn't work for me to fix it. I'm gonna tell you how to learn from my mistakes so the next time you're out there and your legs start to feel rough, you're ready to fix it. So it's maybe three kilometers into this 66K race and myself and my pal Wayne Walsh take the lead and we're feeling good. We're running together as a bit of a team, which always feels fun when you're out there playing that sort of chess game with the folks who are chasing you. And we both felt great. We were checking in on heart rate, on perceived effort. We were reminding each other to hydrate and to fuel. I mean, we knew there was a long way to go, but you know, we kept the lead for about 15K together and we were really confident that it was gonna be a great day out for the two of us. And then I got this little twinge in my calf. Just, hey there, Dan, I'm a calf muscle. Don't forget about me. And so I upped the electrolytes uh, that I was drinking just to make sure I had enough salt and potassium and magnesium, a full spectrum electrolyte, which is the way to do it in this sort of situation. And I, I slowed down the pace a little bit and kept on rolling. And then as I approached about a 21 kilometer aid station, I was really feeling some cramping and so I grabbed a banana from the aid station. I ate a couple of salt tablets, which I have done a thousand times before, chugged a couple hundred mils of electrolytes and in no time my legs locked up solid with muscle cramps. I couldn't move anymore. I couldn't, not only couldn't I not run, I couldn't walk. I was just straight legged standing there. I decided to sort of stumble my way into a pond that I was running around thinking the cold water might help get things moving. Uh, that didn't work at all. I just stumbled around in the water and then eventually sat there for 24 minutes while other racers passed me and uh, and it was the end of my competing for the win for the day. I managed to get things moving and I, and I finished the race uh, and I'm glad that I did, but, but it got me thinking, what are muscle cramps? Why is this happening to me? I had cramps before and I knew how to deal with it. That's what the salt tablets and the electrolytes were for. Plus I had that banana for good luck. I was ready to go. Anyway, my pal Wayne goes on to win the race. Congratulations, Wayne. I did not, I, I finished hours after him. And today I'm gonna to tell you all about why my muscles cramped up. There's been some great research studies in recent times on what is actually causing muscle cramps. And I'm gonna put them, uh, my favorite one anyway, in the notes for this video so you get to see it. Here's the truth of the matter. You're more likely to experience muscle cramps if you've had muscle cramps before. So the leading indicator for whether you're gonna cramp up in a long run is whether you've cramped up before in a long run. If it's not something you've ever had to deal with, it may not be a problem that you need to spend too much time thinking about. But I have in the past had periodic and somewhat infrequent, but it happens, calf cramps specifically. So I've been able to practice through them what I'll do. The research tells us that if you've had them before, you'll have them again. And there's a slightly higher right rate of cramping if you have a high fat, low carb diet, like say a keto diet. Now, moving into race season, that's something I tend to do. I tend to eat very few carbohydrates in the end of an ultra training cycle. Um, and that works for my body. That's the thing that I've, I've used for a while and I know works for me, but it does increase your chance of cramping. So. Why are your muscles cramping? Well, here's what's happening. It is an imbalance of electrolytes. There's three or four different types of electrolytes. We sometimes just euphemistically refer to them as salt, that you have a salt imbalance. That's not technically true, and you can read the research here to tell us, to tell you why that is, but it's an okay shorthand for this video and videos like it to say that you've got a salt or an electrolyte imbalance. Again, recognizing there is a difference there, but we're just using this as shorthand. Now, most of the time, what that means is that you don't have enough electrolytes in your body. You've got a deficiency of electrolytes. And that's why a broad spectrum electrolyte drink, a Gatorade, a Noon, something like that, tends to be helpful for people. It can go the other way though, which is I think ultimately what happened to me in this race is that I got a little over salted. The salt tablet plus the banana plus the electrolytes and my salt balance was off in the other direction. So I had to over hydrate to try to get that back to working. Here's the thing that the research tells us that is fascinating to me. There are tons of things we do to try to combat cramping. Pickle juice, you ever hear that? We're at an ultra aid station. People are taking shots of pickle juice. That's a, that's a big one. 
the truth of the matter is, if they work for you, they probably don't work for the reason you think they work. That is to say, it takes those things some time to get into your system and then into your muscles. And so if you take a few shots of pickle juice and suddenly you're feeling better, while there is lots of salt in pickle juice, that probably isn't doing it. It's probably psychosomatic. It probably is just happening because you think it's gonna happen. The truth is the best thing you can do is if you're experiencing tramping during a race is to slow down as best you can. Certainly hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. But if you can get some stretching done, while you're out there to try to release that cramping muscle. That's the way to do it. Sometimes it's the repetition that gets you. Um, I wish I'd had a change of shoes. If I'd had a different pair of shoes out there, maybe it would have helped my foot strike change a little bit. I battled cramping the entire day out last weekend and it was, it was really tedious and painful and frustrating the whole day. The truth is the best way to deal with cramping happens way before race day. You're way more likely to experience cramping during a race than you are during training. Why is that? Well, it's because you're going harder. That's a fact. It's a race. That's what we're doing. It's called race pace for a reason. Especially in ultra or trail running, you tend to do things like I was doing that day, which is, you know, passing people at the 3K mark on, an, on a steep technical uphill because I felt like I had a slight advantage over my competitors on that uphill. I tend to like running uphill a little bit, so I thought I'd just kind of go for it. I felt good. I had lots of adrenaline pumping. I was out running with a pallet. It felt great. But running Running that hard uphill is actually likely what started my calves to trigger that cramp that happened, you know, 10 or 15 kilometers later. So training in a way that you're likely to race is going to help and then practicing your nutrition while you train in the same way that you would during a race. So even if you're an athlete that tends to not eat a lot of carbohydrates, but you know that during a race you're going to, you're going to uh, rely on some carbohydrates to get some energy in, it's time to start using those carbs while you train. That includes, you know, if you are gonna stick with something like a salt tablet, and I'll tell you, I don't think I'm ever gonna use them again, but if you are, make sure you're using the same brand that you're likely to use in a race. Get used to them and understand how they work in your body. You've also gotta recognize that because you've had cramping before, it means you're likely to have it again, and it's likely to start in that same muscle area. For me, it's calves. Calves are where these things start to fall apart for me. Now, there's some research that says calf cramping can come from actually bad mechanics and foot strike. That's really maybe the case for me. I'm diving deeper and deeper into my running mechanics these days. And we've got lots of content on our app, The Daily Run, and here on the Run Experience channel that'll help you with your running form. I've been consuming lots of it lately after this race. Focus on those mechanics before the race. Focus on training the way you intend to race and focus on real whole foods while you train and while you race. Ultra running is a little bit like an eating competition, right? And so like, you've got to make sure you're consuming calories as you go. Otherwise, eventually you just run out of fuel and you bonk. And so fuel in training the way you intend on fueling during a race. Same thing, same foods, whole foods if you can. And a broad spectrum electrolytes a good idea, but more and more and more the research tells us that hydration and electrolytes aren't necessarily the reason you're cramping. It's that you're beating up your muscles a little harder during the race than you were during training. And so that's really what this comes down to. For me, I've got to get my calves an awful lot stronger and I've got to train a little bit harder on the hills. I've got to get used to the idea of beating up those muscles in a training condition the way I would in a race condition. There are trade-offs that come with these things, right? For me, that means if I'm going to do a really super hard workout on the trail and prep for one of these races, it means I'm going to have to decrease volume that week with an extra rest day. That's okay, except that those things happen if your goal is to race really well. So I've got a big race schedule coming up. I've got four races in five weeks and that includes two ultra marathons. I've got to get serious about rest and recovery and I've got to figure this problem out. So that's why I shared this with you today. Your muscle cramps are caused by an electrolyte imbalance, but more than that, they are caused by you hurting your muscles in a race condition. So let's get those muscles stronger together.